88 counties in 88 days. Tonight, we travel to Carroll County, just to the southeast of Canton. A rural county where this year's election and health care is foremost in the minds of many here. So what we're most concerned about is don't forget us. You know, we're small and, and we don't always make the news. By and large, Carroll Countyans are very adamant about is that they want to be able to stand at their polling location on election day and make those choices. The best way that we can ensure that happens is having enough poll workers. You know, our average poll worker age is around 65 in this county, which is, you know, one of those target or those groups that needs to be concerned about their health. I'm not big on the COVID thing. There's just a lot of things to me that are corrupt to begin with that probably will never get fixed. And the more we go along with what they want us to do, the more we'll have other mandates. Then you have to get a vaccine and then they're going to want to do this to you and then they're going to take your money away. You know, people have to open their eyes to what's going on and stop going like this. I'm only going to watch the media because more than not, what's on the media is a bunch of lies. Anyways, hate to say that. Not to all of you. Access to health care is a concern in this county. Yeah, that would be wonderful to have a full-scale hospital here all the time. They do have a stat care facility at Mercy Medical Center, and I've always had great experiences there. There's uh, 26 counties out of the 88 in Ohio that do not have a hospital, and we're one of them. When you look at, at Carrollton, it's more rural. We don't have an urgent care on every corner like you would see in Columbus or Cleveland. Um, we are the only urgent care in the community for surgery or they need a special procedure. You would have to drive 30 miles no matter which way you go. This is our mobile CT unit, and so patients can actually have their CT here. So that they can get that locally. And they're starting to return for the important routine screenings. I think they're afraid sometimes. They were in the beginning, but it's gotten better, and a lot of people really need to have those screenings. Without health care, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now, actually. I wouldn't have my son. I wouldn't be standing here talking to you. I actually got saved by my boyfriend. And Hi have been two years recovered ever since. My health care has covered my medical expenses and my uh, mental health expenses. So if it wasn't for that, I wouldn't definitely wouldn't be where I am right now. 